All right, guys, it's Tyson Johnson. We are recording this to put on our podcast, and I have been waiting, Jeffrey and I both have been waiting for six months for this event. This is our first ever biannual contest recognition night, and so we're, we're joined by uh, some of our winners. They kind of already let the cat out of the bag, and we are recording this for both, both uh people within the tribe and the public because there's a lot of inspiration and motivation that can be found here um you know these are the types of transformations that are just amazing that we're we're going after and why we started this tribe so we are going to um recognize and give each of you winners a chance to share here in a, a few minutes and just a little bit of housekeeping we are going to we plan to do these every six months so our next one will be in december and those of you who win here tonight are also eligible to be annual winners, along with anyone else who may be newer in the program. We, we're we not trying to reward little 30 or 90 day transformations. This is all about long term lifestyles. What we're recognizing here tonight is a key differentiator. Um, in serving you guys, most of you just wanted to be recognized. I will be making a link on the website for you to per permanently go down in the hall of fame. So you'll get that type of recognition along with this tonight. And most of you were okay with just small little gifts. So the, we do have a three-way tie for first and you, each of you are going to get uh, $50. We'll message afterward, just some dad tribe swag of your choosing a hat, shorts, hoodie, whatever. And then our second and, and third place winners will, will get $25 uh, swag. And um, I have Jeffrey here as a tribe coach. He's we're going to take turns because he's played a very close role in in several of you with coaching, and um, he's kind of like my right hand man. I couldn't do this without him and how he gives back. So, um, before we announce the winners and give you guys a chance to share, eighty percent of the transformation is based on your physical transformation. That's how we judged this. And 20%, but also an, an important part is we watch you guys and how you give back in our community, the insight that you share. Ironically, all three of the winners are facilitators in our mastermind. Um, and that's a piece of this too. And, and the winners have also referred friends, funny enough, to the program. So it's a leadership and a giving back piece of this that we also like to reward and recognize and think. Um, so we have a three-way tie for first, uh, Star Hall and Lyle Updike and Ron Paul. And we, we're we gonna start with Ron if that's okay. And I'm gonna have, turn it over to, to Jeffrey. And then, uh, then we'll do Star and then we'll end with Lyle. And then, um, then we'll announce second and third place winners. And guys, it was so hard to judge this. We just flat out <laughs> couldn't decide which one of, which one of yes. you got first. Um, so Jeffrey, why don't we flip it over to Ron and maybe just um, take a minute or two, um, you know, Ron, if, if you want to share how long you've been in the program, what your transformation's been, and then maybe a word of wisdom or two, a nugget for someone who might be listening. So uh, Jeffrey, Jeffrey, have at it and, and feel free, Jeffrey, to share uh, um, any compliments you have because you worked intimately with Ron this whole time. I just want to say congratulations, Ron. This is a, a really big deal. And you came into the program with such enthusiasm. It was amazing. You know, we work with a lot of different guys and a lot of different energy levels and, and different starting points. And you had some really specific goals and you were very data driven, which uh, was unusual for a lot of guys coming into this program to, to dive into the the behind the scenes data of why the, the nutrition and the intermittent fasting and the activity all worked together. And I think that played a crucial role in your, in your phenomenal success. And we had such a good time um, just throughout these, these months watching you transform from day one, you know, and if there were any setbacks or plateaus, they were very, very small and very brief and visually you changed and transformed almost from day one. It was amazing uh, to both Tyson and myself at the amount of work that you put into this. And I think, uh, you know, more than anything, 
you need to be extremely proud of yourself uh, as we're all working professionals. We're all very busy and we have families, we have work, we have stress, we have all these things. And to have such a concentrated effort and focus on what you did and to be able to block out some of the distractions that we all face uh, and create an environment for yourself that was conducive to you achieving and moving the needle forward every single day. And your interaction and engagement was, was proof positive of you know, how successful you were gonna be in the end. And Tyson and I talked about that all the time. You know, just as an indicator, if we had to, if we had to pick somebody that was gonna be more successful than we even planned as we started this endeavor out, um, you were that person. And I was a privilege um, and so much fun to work with you. And I'm so proud of you, man. And, and let me, I'm going to also, um, forgive me for jumping in one more time. I'll, I'm going off the tribe tracker and Ron, correct me if I'm wrong, but six months in down 38 pounds, give or take of fat. So uh, have at it, Ron. <laughs> yeah, no, thank you. And, and, and Tyson, uh, true to our mastermind, my mastermind gold uh, on Saturday, I'm headed down to get a DEXA test. Actually, I just discovered the DEXA test uh, versus the BOD pod um, and DEXA, which is going to be interesting because it will give me a fat composition throughout my entire body in various mm -hmm. regions, which is going to be interesting. Uh, so, so listen, I, I thank you to the both of you, really. I some will consider it serendipity. Uh, I, I consider it divine intervention of, of how, how we got connected, how I got connected with the tribe and, and the timing was right. You know, in my life, um, I, I have cycled, you know, I'm, I'm 197 pounds now. I've been up to 265 back in the day. And um, I was successful to get it down to 204 at one point which it came back and just was not sustainable. And um, I, I really owe a lot to, um, and to, to my involvement in this tribe, the sense of accountability that I have. Um, Jeffrey, you, you have been great to work with as well and appreciated your coaching. You know, the, the, the data piece has been important for me and, 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 you know, Lyle, I know is all also all about the data. I've appreciated that, you know, I'm, and, and I'm a geek about, you know, I've look, look I've got the, I've got the <laughs> Apple watch. I've got the Fitbit. I've got the aura ring, right. And <laughs> different pieces of information. Now that's a little overkill. I get it. Um, and, but, but for me, it's, it's been the data that helps inform diet. It helps inform how hard my workouts are, whether I am, you know, ready to work hard for a workout or not. Um, and, uh, where I fell last time and started gaining the weight is I stopped tracking my intake. I stopped tracking the data and I just realized that for me, it needs to be a part of my life to, to make sure that at least I have access to that, to know how I'm doing. And that's just part of the sustainability uh, for that. Um, yes, I, to, to your other point, I have achieved levels I've never had in my life. Even when I was in my twenties, I've, I've never had a six pack before. I, you know, sometimes that still feels like, oh my gosh, is that what that feels like? I've never had it. And, and so, so, um, I, yes, I am, I am proud of that. And I understand it is, this is a journey. There are other goals that I have as we move forward. I appreciate the recognition. I, and I don't want to speak for Lyle and star, uh, uh, but, but I will tell you, you know, I'm not in this for this night for the recognition. This mm -hmm. it's, it's, it's nice to be recognized, but my goal is truly my celebration will be a year from now. How am I looking? How am I doing? How is my health? is it sustainable over time? And, and that's what I'm in this for, truly. Given the stress and the responsibilities, am I able to maintain my, a dedication to taking care of myself so that I can be able to sustain and live on this earth a bit longer um, and, and maintain my health? Uh, so I, I really am appreciative of you all. I, I'm appreciative of all the tribe members. You know, I. I Lyle's posts, Star's posts. I I I look at the posts and I'm appreciative of 
uh, their contributions. And I'm just, I'm proud to be a part of a group that is striving for the same types of goals that I am. And I celebrate all of our successes, especially here tonight. I'm just honored to be part of the group here. So thank you for, for the opportunity. Thank yeah. you. Thanks, Ron. All right, so let's uh, shift over to Star. Um, Star is actually a, a little bit of a peek into the future. You can correct me if I'm wrong, Star, but you're 10 months in. Also down, uh, I show about 40 pounds of fat. And um, I worked, Star was kind of like a pioneer for me. I had been doing coaching and I've been working on this now for five years, but our one-on-one -on -one model, our Marco Polo tool, all of these things had had kind of just come to fruition. And I said, you know, Star and I connected and realized we had a ton in common. And I was like, hey, Star, uh, let, let me test this on you, basically. <laughs> and um, it's still, he's just been as patient as could be and made stuff happen. And now his dad has joined us. And um, he and Joe Hempel, also a member of our group, have worked out. We've worked out as a threesome in Salt Lake City. Just one of those guys who gets the spirit of brotherhood and is uh is just all about oh yeah yeah star hurt his finger he, he that's why he's raising his finger there he we were working out and he uh to his credit you know we got injured while while weightlifting it was awesome but uh star's just um been a wonderful addition to the community very inspiring mm -hmm. and uh so star let me just flip it over to you on uh you know like ron a few words of wisdom both for those who are in the program and those who are considering trying to get more fit and healthy as a busy dad um anything you could share to give back and help thank you yeah i am uh, also very grateful um and much like ron said this has been um a godsend uh for me and uh, just the cliff notes version of that is that uh i um i was at a dentist one day a few years ago on a Saturday, because you know he works with a lot of professional uh, dads, offers those Saturday hours, and I'd gone in and and he said, "All right, before we can do this uh, procedure on your mouth, I just need to take blood pressure." And keep in mind, I was already on some blood measure medication at the time. Um, and he took uh, he took my blood pressure on the one arm, and he goes, "Oh, that's not possible." Uh, here, let, let, let me try your other arm. And he tried the other arm and he goes, that's, that's not possible. Uh, let me go get my other cuff. And he went and got his other cuff and he, he tried again on both arms and he goes, you know what? I can't do this procedure on you. In fact, uh, you should head to the ER right now. And I said, well, what is it? It was 280 over 180, you guys. Oh my gosh. It was so crazy because wow. of the stress and the way that I was living and just my lifestyle um, and the load that I was carrying at work was so significant. So it was then, this has been four years ago, it was then that I, and I've told Tyson this story, I've never shared it in public. It was then that I started the process of um, trying some intermittent fasting. And I had done lots of things over the years with, um, you know, little fad diets, you know, some isogenics here, some Weight Watchers there. I tried lots of things. I'd done uh, kind of the biggest loser contest at work, and I usually win. I win like 10 pounds in two weeks, and everybody's like, man, that's crazy, you know, because I can lose the first 10 pounds. And then every time, gain it right back. And so I could do it competitively and for fun and, and for kind of a quick test to see if I'm I still got something, but now when I got that blood pressure test, um, here's what I did. I went, well, that's she's just my dentist. I'm probably fine. I didn't feel anything. I didn't have any <laughs> of the symptoms. So I started heading home on my way home. I thought better of it. And I went, oh. and my neighbor, a good friend of mine, Kent Marshall, um, just lives a block away from me. I thought, I'll just stop and ask Kent what he thinks. So I told Kent the whole story. He goes, well, come on in. I'll check it. So he had, uh, he's a physician, he had his bag and he did exactly the same thing. He's going, that can't be possible. Tried the other arm. He goes, not only do you have to go to the ER, I have to drive you. <laughs> so I got to the ER and uh, they watched me overnight. That's how they were that scared. Um, so I guess I was a ticking time bomb. 
So that's when I started trying a little more in earnest with some, um, some intermittent fasting. I was about 240. I was 227 when I started uh, with the tribe. Um, and, and the intermittent fasting had kind of worked, but it was still kind of this, you know, not much rigor to it. It was just the idea of intermittent fasting. I'd listened to Dr. Fung and I'd read his books and I, I felt like, you know, I had the concept down, but what I would do is when I would eat, well, I would just, I would just eat <laughs> like nobody's business. You know, I'd fast, fast, and then I'd eat like crazy. And it really wasn't quite, get, you know, I'd lost a little as you, as you can see, but I was at 227 and with the blood medication, I was still kind of uh, battling that thing. Every time I went in for my, checkup it was still kind of monitoring the meds and everything um now like i take i don't take my blood pressure anymore since i started i went in for my first checkup a few months in i was like uh the doctor checked my triglycerides and my um ldls and all all the levels and and he said you have not had blood work like this ever and i've been going to him for 15 years you've ne i've never seen your blood like this that was three months in and, um, and it's because it was the, as Ron stated it, it's the science of, of, of the tribe model that goes beyond a, a diet or a fat. There's no dieting here. I'm not on a diet. I don't feel like I'm on a diet. I don't live like I'm on a diet. I live like a healthy man. I, I don't uh, live to eat i eat to live like i and i love food more than i've ever loved it because my body wants it differently and you know adding the exercise with the intermittent fasting and watching the macros and enjoying food in a different way and i just love food i'm a foodie you know i i can tell you i can tell you in utah where the best taco is i mean i'm the best i'm a foodie and um and I, I love good food, um, but I just eat it differently now. And I, I, I love it as much or more than I ever have. And I love feeling good. I can keep, keep up with my teenagers. When I coach football, I can keep up with the kids. Last season, um, as I got into this toward the beginning of the season, when I started in the tribe in August, I was running a little bit in practice and I was just sweating and just hating life. Even by the end of the season in November, I was running the sprints with them and they couldn't, I, I was one of the fastest on the field. And that's, you know, going back in the day. And I, you know, I'm 50 something years old and these kids are like, whoa, you're different. And, um, <laughs> so, you know, I want to be able to keep up. My goal is to keep up with my grandkids. I have two grandkids now and two on the way. And I want to be 70 and hiking, running and enjoying um, being active with them and so grateful for Tyson and Jeffrey and for the tribe. Um, I've, I've gotten a lot of value from the tribe and the individuals that have, um, I mean, we've talked one off, uh, several of us have with, uh, Ron and Joe and a few others. And, uh, even times when, you know, I'd already kind of used up my time with Tyson and Jeffrey. I was like, guys, I have an idea. What do you think? And they would be willing to take a moment and, uh, give me some guidance and, um, I broke through some barriers with that kind of help and, and with the, the mentoring and the support and uh, the tribe is fantastic. Um, accountability is necessary for me. Too much accountability, I walk away. Not enough accountability. <laughs> Not enough command accountability. You know, it's a flash in the pan. I got to have just the right dose and that's what this is for me. So uh, I love it. It's great. Thanks, so. Goldilocks. <laughs> right plus because because now i've got a reason i i actually put, my wife said you know you look so good why don't you grow your hair back so i'm growing my hair back <laughs> star thanks for for sharing us that's, that's awesome and, and speaking of people who are uh, at the front of the pack in running we need to segue over to our uh, mr seven and a half minute mile whose teenagers can't keep up with them. Uh, Jeffrey, I'm going to, I'll flip it over to you to highlight Lyle um, six months in hit Lyle, if you don't mind me sharing seven and a half percent body fat amongst other things. So uh, have at it, Jeffrey. And this is another story of um, just absolute pleasure to work with so much energy. 
Um, it was amazing the amount of energy that you brought to this from the very beginning and the willingness to implement what we asked you to do. There was, there was never a, a question as to, unless you, unless you voiced it to yourself privately, do it, you know, I, I, I don't know about this. I don't want to do this. This doesn't sound sustainable to me. And your creativity with, you know, the workouts that you did and being able to create an environment that um, allowed you to achieve the things that we were asking you to do. Plus, you know, the question asking was so crucial, I think, in a lot of the, the areas of your success where you posted a video and said, am I doing this right? Is this exercise right? Is, is, is my form correct in this? Because you, there was attention to detail that you wanted to get it right. You understood that there was a correct way to do this in the program and you didn't want to muddle your way through it. And that was very obvious from the beginning. And then to implement the changes that Tyson and I would ask you to, or implement the suggestions, even if it wasn't, a, you know, you have to do this. If we were just like, you know, this is my two cents, take it and, and do with it what you want. You, you embraced it wholeheartedly. And uh, to the fact where we were, you know, at the end there, you know, Tyson and I were like, well, okay, he's got to stop losing. <laughs> you, you know, Lyle's getting too small. You know, we got to figure out how to turn this ship around a little bit and let's put some lean mass back on and, uh, you know, put a little bit of shape in those muscle bellies so that we can, we can complete that lean, healthy looking physique that you were, you were looking for at the beginning of this program. And, and I, I mean, as someone who spent a good portion of my life in the gym, throwing weights around and being able to help somebody make that turn from fat loss, not just weight loss. And there's a, per, there's a, a big distinction in that. It's not just weight loss, it's fat loss to reveal that muscular system that we have underneath those layers of fat. And then to work on filling those back out into a, into a healthy, sustainable body uh, and, and give you a routine to be able to do that. That is fulfilling beyond belief and and we can't thank you enough for being part of this program but also embracing it in the way that you did this wasn't a a rigorous tooth pulling endeavor on our part to be to get you to where you wanted to be you were a willing participant from the beginning to to this point right now and that's made it so much fun and i think is a testimony testament to the success that you've shown and, and the ability to get down to that seven and a half percent body fat um it's it's uh it's been an awesome awesome journey for me you know it's transformation is we flow sometimes right um and it usually is we learn that from nature right the mayfly things that grow <laughs> quickly don't live a long time right things that grow slowly live a long time and the mayfly is born uh matures to adulthood mates and then dies all before the sun goes down and so yes it matures quick and it gets quick but then it dies right and so i didn't want this to just be something fast I've, I've learned that that things that if you want success you just have to do things slowly and uh all i've tried to do is just one piece at a time i've tried to make a change or a purchase every week right something like i filled out i got 35 pound dumbbells you know because i had 30s and 40s and i got 35s and so that was fun that made the room smell like <laughs> new rubber again, you know, or whatever and so that that inspires me last week i i ate quinoa for the first time and um i also mixed it with something else that was just awesome and so you know i i, I tried something new that way uh food wise and uh I, you know i didn't want to just say i'm starting a diet so now i'm going to change everything over and now i'm going to start eating this and stop eating that and it tastes like cardboard but i'm going to lose weight right so I just mm -hmm. a piece at a time, week by week, just kind of wanted to change one thing at a time. I swapped out sour cream for Greek yogurt, right? And then um, I swapped out uh, olive oil for, well, or I added coconut oil as well last week. I hadn't done that. Before. The MCT, thank you, MTC, whatever it's called, MCT, mid-chain triglyceride, right? Ron mentioned that. And so I looked and coconut oil has that and uh, it tastes great. It tastes awesome, right? And, uh, and so... Just a thing at a time, I've tried to tried to shift things without going too quickly because things that grow quickly die quickly, 
right? So just a piece at a time, even my workouts, you know, slowly adding a new exercise every week or two um, to mix up what I'm doing, right? And uh, so that's just helped me help me a ton more than anything else. And you all have done a great job letting me kind of define what's next and not say, oh, this is the mold. You can't break the mold here. You've got to do exactly this. You know, you let my light, so so to speak, so shine instead of your light or what you wanted me to do, right? So that helped a ton. And so I ended up loving doing it instead of just knowing how to do it. I, I became something I loved to do and 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 was able to keep myself engaged. So it's been a it's been a wonderful journey, and I, I agree with Ron um, that this is something we need to look for in a year. Right? How are we really, really doing? Did we ever really adopt it? And Star, very inspiring your story, and uh, your grandpa. Are you the guy that said I don't want to go to Disneyland and hold, my, hold the coats while my kids go on their own? Yeah. <laughs> yes, I don't so, want to do that. <laughs> even grandpa yet was starting to do that, right? So. So it's been great to lose the fat and then to learn how to build the muscle. There is an art to this. It's not just science, but the art really is learning how to keep yourself motivated. And for me, that's just been doing a thing, a change at a time. Jeff, probably the best advice you gave me was you have a wretched day, which is like 4,000 calories or just something it goes off the rails. You're like, you had a four, not 4,000, but 3,000, whatever. If you have one, that used you to just, be every day for me. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but his advice was don't do anything. Just the next day, just hit your numbers. And I don't know if that's a science or art, but it was the answer I needed. And because it would have been very demotivating to say, oh, the rest of the week, you got to punish yourself, Lyle, and get back so you're averaging. So I don't know. Just, and, and Tyson, you've chimed in with just some fantastic advice and motivation as you've been able to answer each question very timely. And uh, so you've, you've provided tremendous support. I don't know how that scales. That's your problem to figure out, you know, as this thing grows. <laughs> but it's, it's just, it's been really helpful for me. Selfishly, it's just been really helpful uh, for me and for some of my goals. And I have some reasons behind why I want to stay healthy too that are deeper than just looking good or feeling good. Sure. You know? but, I think we kind of, each of us, and you alluded to this as well, Ron, you do want to live a long time, right? It's kind of your own duty <laughs> to keep your body in a spot where it can be, you know, used in the future to, to, to be healthy. And, I, uh, I, I think that Ron is actually going for one of those Mr. Universe contests. Those <laughs> yeah, you're, ripping, you're, going, you're taking it to the next level, man. Yeah. His muscle, his muscle bellies have six packs, each of them. <laughs> so, so thanks, guys. Appreciate, appreciate the recognition tonight. Uh -huh. Yeah, thank you, Lyle. Um, just a quick tangent before we, to, our second and third place winners uh, had to excuse themselves tonight, but we're still going to take a few minutes and then we'll do uh, Q and A, guys. So if you still have time, we'll uh, get a little more casual here. But just a quick tangent. To me, one of the most fulfilling aspects of of this has been to see, first of all, Jeffrey and Andrew, our two tribe coaches, scale and have lots of capacity for one-on-one. -on -one. And I even do one-on-one -on -one myself and to watch how amazing they are and their gifts that are, that are different than mine. But then you three who are just recognized to watch you guys facilitate our small, small group masterminds, which is a new addition, and to, to watch your skill set and to see you giving back and, you know, we have Ken and Paul on the call, you know, Ken recently posted a, a protein analysis to calorie ratio with the CFO mind that was brilliant. I need to pass that out to everyone. Paul. Loved that post, by the way. In fact, mm -hmm. Ken, I want, I want, the, I, I'd love to get the link where you found yeah. that information. Uh, well, I, just, I, I pulled it off of labels. I'll drop it in the Zoom chat here. Yeah. Is that on Facebook, Ken? No, I'll, I'm going to push it out to the community. It's on my to-do list. Um, okay. And Paul, you know, you're a new member, but you you posted a brilliant um, keto strip slash blood insulin levels. You're finding this program stabilizing. It's just, it's so cool to see you guys give back and to shine. And that's, to me, that's almost the best part of this. Um, so thank you, you three. And uh, again, if, if, you haven't been recognized and you listen to this, don't feel like you're missing out because we're doing another one in December and everyone's eligible. And uh, so 
uh, second place, I'm going to actually let Jeffrey talk for a second. We'll keep these briefer, but um, Shane Hoyt, actually, um, both of these guys didn't do our one-on-one -on -one program, which almost speaks to, you know, when you don't have one-on-one -on -one accountability and support and you still make a transformation happen, it's, it's very impressive as well. And uh, Shane started back in February. Jeffrey and I are actually friends with him pre-tribe. And he's down 42 pounds of fat. My son yeah. plays sports with his son. And his his son has also lost I, probably about 30 pounds of fat because he works out with dad. So, um, Jeffrey, just any thoughts? And then Kyle Johnson is another one of our guys who just kind of was in the sidelines doing the stuff on his own. And with our within our Marco Polo groups has offered some great nuggets. He's down 32 pounds of fat. Uh, after five months and his wife just joined uh, Sherry's program. So uh, Jeffrey, take a quick second, if you would, just any insights we see Shane on a weekly basis, anything you want to share on him? Second place. You know, Shane, Shane is a, is a unique individual. Um, he's very introverted uh, for the most part, but he has a business. Um, he has his own business. So he's an entrepreneur and uh, he works primarily by himself. So a lot of his days are spent singularly by, you know, by himself all day long. So he had a tremendous amount of discipline to uh, focus on his nutrition more than, more than anything. And he's the kind of guy that can focus, uh, you know, tunnel vision almost on something and start to accomplish, you know, his goals, the things that he set for him. And he wasn't one that wanted or particularly needed a lot of interaction or specific coaching from us. He took the program, he understood the program, and he implemented it from, you know, the spreadsheet and worked the program front to back flawlessly. And with a little bit of encouragement, everyone, and because Tyson and I are, are friends with him outside of this endeavor, you know, we were able to touch base with him on Sunday, seeing him at church or uh, just through text because we're friends with him and we and, and, and we text and communicate periodically just to check in. And those few touches were the things that Shane needed to be successful in this. And, and he, he communicated that back and how thankful he was to know in the back of his mind, even though he's not engaged, that Tyson and I were actively thinking about him and his progress. And you see, you know, just like Tyson said, 40 some odd pounds that he's that he's taken off in a very, very short amount of time. And then it's also rubbed off on Harrison, his son, who part of that, too, is he Harrison grew probably five inches, you know, overnight. So that that did help lean him out a little bit. But the fact that he is following that same type of nutritional program as, from an example that his dad was setting by utilizing this simple program and, and simply implementing it without a lot of bells and whistles um, is, was just amazing to us because in the beginning, I was a little nervous that here's a guy that could use some coaching, but was opting to not. And just because of, of his innate personality was, I'm going to take this and do it myself. And amazingly he did. So it was uh, it was really fun to watch him transform over the last few months, seeing him once a week and visually be able to see the, the changes that were happening to him. And quick, sunny or funny side story. So so Shane is actually on a pioneer trek as we speak with the youth. That's why he's not here tonight. Yeah. So he's he's there uh, pretending to be a father. And it, for those of you who aren't familiar, no worries. It's he's just giving back to his his youth group, let's say. And being 40 pounds down, can you imagine how much it's already a grueling, tough three days? And um, to Jeffrey's point, he's inspired his son and, and now he's doing that. And it's going to be a much better experience for him as a pretend father on that and real father. So um, well, I, I well somehow, said. by the way, Tyson, I somehow was never quite available for those pioneer tracks. I can never explain <laughs> why that was. But. <laughs> Weird, isn't it? <laughs> Ron, you're wise beyond your years. I must, I must not be as wise. I've done four. Oh, my God. <laughs>
<laughs> yeah. And uh, then uh, just Kyle, Kyle's uh, on a vacation tonight. But, um, you know, he, we rolled out recently these little Marco Polo, let's call it group coaching, right? Um, people who are all doing this program together. And it's not one-on-one, but it's still the spirit of camaraderie and fellowship. And, hey, I've got a question. And, you know, sure enough, someone will post, you know, Paul, as an example, those keto strips, what he, he did that with. And it's just awesome to see. And Kyle has gotten real active over the last couple months. The funny piece with him, he said the other day he was swimming for getting exercise and his, his swimming trunks almost fell off. <laughs> he lost so much weight. And uh, it was a hilarious post. I'm not doing it justice, but, um, you know, he's just, that's the cool thing about this is we transform and then it becomes a little bit less about ourself and a little bit more about how can I give back and share and, and inspire others. Um, so neither could be here, but Shane and Kyle, when you listen to this, we uh, appreciate you serving and vacationing and your neat stories. And we recognize you virtually through this recording. So um, why don't we, why don't we wrap this up getting a little more casual um, and we're going to do an open Q and I will not post this piece to the, uh, the public. This is just for us, but 